It's Medicosis Perfect Natus, where medicine makes perfect sense. Welcome back to my clinical biochemistry playlist. First, we discussed the diseases of carbohydrate metabolism, which included lactose intolerance, mild galactosemia, and the severe classic galactosemia, essential fructosuria, and hereditary fructose intolerance. Then we turned our attention to the diseases of proteins and amino acid metabolism. We talked about alkaptonuria, phenylketonuria, tyrosinemia or tyrosinosis, propionic acidemia, methylmalonic acidemia, and maple syrup urine disease. Today it's time to talk about albinism. What does the word alba mean? It means white. There is a protein in your blood known as albumin, which literally means the white protein. These patients are born with very white slash pinkish slash pale skin. Not just that white hair. And normally there is a pigmented layer in your retina. Uh-uh, it's not pigmented here. It is very pale, which means visual problems. Photophobia. I'm afraid of light. Please watch the videos in this clinical biochemistry playlist in order. Your diet is made of carbs, proteins, and fat. Proteins are the big guy. The smaller guys of them are called amino acids. Amino acids are the building blocks of proteins. When I digest proteins, we get amino acids. Why do you call them amino acids? Because it has an amino group and a carboxylic acid group. Amino acid. How many amino acids are there? Many. How many proteogenic amino acids exist in the human body? Only 20. Today, we are focused on phenylalanine, this guy, and tyrosine. Each of these amino acids has a name, a one-letter abbreviation, and a three-letter abbreviation. Here is phenylalanine, and here is tyrosine. Don't forget that tyrosine is abbreviated as Y. Many students forget this. Why not abbreviated as T? Because T is already taken by tyrionine. If you recall from my discussion on amino acid derivatives, we go this way. Remember the song? Phenylalanine tyrosine, dopa dopamine, norepinephrine, epinephrine. So tyrosine came from phenylalanine. Then this tyrosine can give me melanin, or it can give me dopa and then give me melanin. Regardless, you need an enzyme known as tyrosinase. Look at this, phenylalanine tyrosine, dopa dopamine, norepinephrine, epinephrine. Tyrosine through many steps can give me melanin, or it can give me dopa and the dopa can give me melanin. Regardless, I just want you to remember the key enzyme tyrosinase. Albinism is an autosomal recessive disease. Anytime you hear of autosomal recessive, odds are there is an enzyme deficiency. What's the name of this deficient enzyme in albinism? It's called tyrosinase enzyme. Here's a very, very, very simplified diagram. Reality is way more complex than this and the pathway is longer than this. Tyrosine into dopa by tyrosine hydroxylase then dopa to melanin by tyrosinase. That's the key enzyme that we need to focus on today. What does melanin mean? It came from the Greek melas, which means black. Do you know the molas? Oh, what color is the molas? Oh, black. If I have more melanin in my skin, my skin gets more black. If I have less melanin in my skin, my skin gets less black. Hey, metacosis, is melanin the only pigment responsible for skin color? No. There is melanin, there is beta carotene, and there is hemoglobin. Because you know what's in your skin? Well, blood vessels. What do blood vessels have? Blood, which includes red blood cells, which have lots of hemoglobin. You have billions and billions of red blood cells in your body. Your blood is about five liters. Forget the five, let's just take one liter. Let's take one tenth of that, a deciliter. In every deciliter, you have about 15 grams of hemoglobin. Albinism, autosomal recessive disease, deficiency of tyrosinase enzyme. Do you think I'll be able to make melanin? No, if this enzyme is not there, melanin is not there. And therefore, my skin color, very white, very pinkish, very pale. Can this skin protect me against ultraviolet light in the atmosphere? The answer is no increasing my risk of skin cancer. Not just skin cancer, any skin disease related to ultraviolet light, such as actinic keratosis, for example. What does the word actinic mean? It means solar, 
sun-related. So you can call it actinic keratosis or solar keratosis. Recall from your pathology study that actinic keratosis increases my risk of skin cancer. But what type of skin cancer? Was it squamous cell carcinoma, basal cell carcinoma, or malignant melanoma? Please let me know the answers in the comment section. No melanin, white hair. No melanin in my retina, depigmented retina. Okay, cannot protect me from light. Photophobia. Remember that your retina is the beginning of the optic nerve. You cannot see properly. So you're more likely to develop nystagmus. So today we talked about the disease that can lead to photophobia and nystagmus. But what is ambilopia or lazy eye? What is central retinal artery occlusion? How about central retinal vein occlusion? How about compartment syndrome of the orbit? You can learn about all of these topics by downloading my surgery high yield course at medicosisperfectionalis.com. I have more than 14 premium courses on my website. You can download them here, or if you would like to watch them right here on YouTube, click the join button below this video and choose the highest tier to gain instant access to more than 300 premium videos. Please subscribe, smash like, hit the bell, support my channel here or here, go to my website to download my courses, notes, and cases. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine makes perfect sense.